So do you want to create thumbnails just like Cole, where you've got this raised effect or this pop out of screen look? Well, let's see how to do that in Resolve. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want is a video clip or a photo. In this case, I have a video clip, clip and there's a specific location in there where I want to use for my thumbnail. So this scene here, what I'm going to do here is go into Retime Controls and I'm going to go and freeze the frame. And then I'm just going to trim this to those points. That way I'm only working with that one frame. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay, I can turn off this uh, read time controls also. All right, the next thing you want to do is go into effects and you want to add a text box. Turn that off. I'm just going to shrink this down to size. And in here I'm just going to call it streets. Is that the font? Okay, so now we're going to go down here and set our box. Set this outline color to white. Set the background width, let's say about seven. And now we're just going to make it a little larger. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to eliminate the rounded corners and the opacity dial it to zero. Okay, so now we've got our title with the box around it and now all that's left to do is we need to have him pop out from the screen okay so what we're going to do next is uh, make a copy of this clip and we're going to select and put this uh, above uh, the text clip now I'm going to dial down the opacity just so to help me with the uh, the masking effect I'm just going to dial out I'll go ahead and put it to zero next we want to go ahead into color and what we're going to do is go into the power window section and we're going to select a mask. So we're going to do a curve effect. I'm going to zoom in here. And all we need to do is kind of outline uh, his body. So we're going to, I can start anywhere in here. I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to go it right here. It doesn't have to be perfect except for where the letters are. You want it as close as possible to the the image. So we're not going to select invert, but we will come in here and do add alpha output. Connect it up here. And when I go back into the editor, we're going to select this top click clip and I'm going to go ahead and dial back up the opacity. Now, if I look at it full screen, you can see we get the effect. We can see how the individual, I probably need to clean up the nose here a little bit, but you get the point. Okay. But that's all you have to do. The next thing you want to do if you want to save it as a thumbnail is go back into color and then just press Control alt g and then if you go into your gallery view, uh, you'll actually see that image. And then all you have to do is right click, export it as a JPEG, and upload it right into YouTube or whatever you want to use for your thumbnail. Okay? So if you've got any questions on that, uh, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.